Let's explore the various drawing objects by drawing the site plan that will serve as the basis for our mini golf course design. All draw commands are housed in the draw panel on the ribbon. However, you can access any of these by using your keyboard, the menu bar, or selecting the tool or icon button from the ribbon. To start, select the line command using one of the three methods. When the line command is activated, notice how the command line indicates to specify the first point for the line. You will see the same prompt next to your mouse cursor if the dynamic input is turned on. If you don't see this, select Customization from the status bar, select Dynamic Input, and select the icon on the status bar so that it is highlighted. Before we start drawing, zoom out so that our coordinates display values around the 500 foot range. This does not need to be exact. Using the coordinates display, we can enter the starting point for our line. Let's enter 15 feet for the X coordinate and select the tab key on the keyboard to enter 15 feet for the Y coordinate. Be sure to enter the apostrophe for feet, otherwise it will default to inches. When entering coordinates, the first value is always the X coordinate and the second is the Y coordinate. Draw a vertical line that is 58 feet in length. Type 58 feet and select the Enter key on the keyboard. The line command stays active and let's draw a horizontal line that is 64 feet long. Select the Enter key on the keyboard to exit the line command. Let's finish the rest of the shape using the mouse. Reactivate the line command and select the endpoint of the last line drawn. Notice the green rectangle that helps snap the endpoint of the new line to the previously drawn line. If you don't see this, make sure 2D Object Snap appears on the status bar and is highlighted. Instead of entering a value for the line length, move your cursor over to the starting point of the first line drawn. Notice the green tracking lines that appear to help locate the point. Move the cursor back under the starting point and the tracking lines help develop an intersection. Select the point when you see the intersection of the tracking lines. Then select the starting point of the first line to enclose the shape.